Visual Studio Code just came out with the November 2023 release and one of the most, if no, the most sought after issue on the repository, the most upvoted issue on the repository has finally landed a version of that feature in Visual Studio Code. It is called Floating Editor Windows. We just had a video on it that goes through the history of the GitHub issue and some of the conversation there to understand the background behind this and why it's been so long standing. It's about seven years now, a little over seven years. You can check out that video on the channel. But for this one, we're going to see that feature in action, floating editor windows. So let's take a look at my screen and looking at the release notes, floating editor windows. You can look at that in Visual Studio Code. It allows you to drag and drop editors onto your desktop. Okay. So the way you do that is you got to have a new tab of your files open of some sort, whether it's a Python file, whatever source code that you're working with. But in this case, I'm going to use an untitled tab, editor tab that I have open here. And what I can do is I can make this window smaller. Let's hide this background here and I can click and drag it outside of the current instance of Visual Studio Code. And you'll notice that it pops open a new instance of VS Code with that particular text file, that editor view that I had before. So that's one way you can go about doing it. I'm going to click and drag to bring it back into the original one. Another way you can go about doing this is right clicking and saying move into new window. And that very quickly does the same exact thing. Now, the last thing I want to show you that maybe isn't as widely known initially when people take a look at this feature is that you can also use terminal and search panels, turn those into editor views, and then pop those out as well as separate window instances of Visual Studio Code. Let's take a look at how we can go about doing that. First of all, if you have a search that you're using, you're going to want to open this up into an editor view instead of the side panel, or maybe you have it in the bottom panel, like this one down below where your terminal would be. So I can, for search terms, search queries that I'm doing, I click on open an editor and you'll notice that tab opened up over here to the right. Now at this point I can click and drag this out and it has its own instance of Visual Studio Code just for searching. If I wanted to do the same thing with the terminal, I need to bring this up into an editor view. So I click and drag it into here like that. And now I can drag it over into this instance or if I wanted to pop it open into its own. And now I can take advantage of this while having multiple monitors or splitting up my main screen into thirds or something like that. Whatever your workflow is, you can now pop out all these different types of views around your source files, your searching, or your terminal. Now, there's apparently supposed to be more functionality and features added to this. It's something that they're going to iterate on. So be sure to take a look at any issues on the repository labeled as workbench aux window. Upvote the ones that you wish to ha happen, and that way it will get implemented more quickly in a upcoming release for Visual Studio Code. So that again, folks, was the floating editor windows in the November 2023 Visual Studio Code release. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you watched this long, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos like this. Thanks for watching.